Hello everyone, welcome to this week's uh, Short Dvar Torah. I hope you're all well. I know lots of people are away at the moment. Um, so wherever you're watching this from, I hope you're having a good time. And uh, I hope no one's uh, suffering too much in the heat. Uh, let's all try and enjoy the, the good weather whilst we have it. Um, this week's Sedra is Bollock. Very interesting Sedra, where the king called Bollock, king of Midian, he hires a sorcerer to uh, come and curse the Jewish people, a non-Jewish prophet called Bilom, who had a good track record in uh, giving out curses and uh, um, causing uh, uh, military victories through his word. So uh, Balak uh, calls him and he sends him messages um, and we find that Hashem tells him not to go until he begs again and again and again and as the rabbis quote uh, an adage in ethics of the fathers they say Bidosh Adam wrote say which means the way a person wants to go Hashem allows him to go in other words ultimately we still have free choice and even uh, it, even if Hashem tells us not to if we beg and beg and beg eventually Hashem sometimes says okay and uh, it'll be your lookout so he told Bilam yes you can go but remember you'll only be able to speak the words that I say. And then as we know, they tried sacrifices to appease God and they went and they looked to different places. And every time um, Bilam tried to curse the people, instead of curses out came beautiful blessings. Some of them we know quite well, the most famous perhaps being the phrase Matovu Alecha Yaakov, how goodly are you ten so Israel Mishnasecha uh Jacob Mishasecha Israel, your 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 dwelling places Israel. In other, in other words, he he saw the good, he saw the great, uh, amazing behavior of the Jewish people, how they respected each other's privacy, and blessings came from his mouth until uh, Balak got so annoyed, he told him, you know what, enough's enough, don't curse, don't bless, just go. And uh, Bilam was sent off in a bit of disgrace. The interesting point that I saw this year, which I never really thought about before, with the Chassam Sofa, the great uh, Hungarian rabbi of the nineteenth century, he says the people, the Jewish people, had no idea that this was going on. They had no idea that there was uh, somebody being hired uh, to curse them. They only found out much later when Hashem, uh, perhaps it was written in the Torah or somehow, the message got out. But that teaches us that many times things can be going on. Uh, for us, Hashem can be doing great and wonderful things for us that we don't even appreciate. So when we say, for example, in Hala, we thank Hashem, Hodel Hashem Kitoiv, for we thank Hashem for His good, Kil Olam Chastay, because His kindness is everlasting. That's not just the kindnesses that we know about: our health, uh, having what we need, family and friends, and uh, Baruch Hashem being blessed to live in a peaceful country, and all these things that we have to be thankful for. It's even the things that we don't know. Hashem sometimes puts things in into motion long, long before they're needed, uh, long before they can be appreciated. There's a famous story that the, the, the great Mir Yeshiva that escaped to Shanghai, it found there there's been a beautiful, large base Hamedrash built, a shul built with just enough seats that they needed. Uh, it had been built many, many years ago by a philanthropist and never really been used. Why was it really built? Hashem was putting it there for the day that's going to be needed many, many years later. And that's um, important that we realize that, because logically we, we shouldn't be here. We know that uh, Rabbi Yaakov Emden writes, he says, a great, a greater miracle than splitting the sea is that we've survived for so long. And one of the ways we've survived for so long is because Hashem is, is always acting in our best interests, often behind the scenes, in ways that we don't even appreciate or don't even know. Uh, world politics, for example, is constantly chopping and changing but yet we know that it's all being controlled and directed by Hashem above. So Matova Alecha Yaakov should focus on how lucky we are to be among the the ones that uh, Bilam blessed. That he, he said how good they are our tents. He was referring to our homes, the spiritual beauty and the privacy that we we're able to to get in our homes to live our lives in the ways of Hashem and Mishkan Asecha. Of course, the 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 Mishkan, the sanctuaries. That was referring to the shuls, and that's uh, very important that we maintain a strong presence in both home and shul and bring it all together to live a vibrant Jewish life. Wish everybody.
Und Servus, Schabbat, ciao.